Hi, screenwriters, comic book writers, and storytellers everywhere. My name is Mitch Smith, and I'm a film producer, screenwriter, graphic novel writer, and script note reader. And today I'm lucky enough to have John Fitch, screenwriting professor, producer, and the producer of the documentary Painted in Stone, The Kentucky Mural which is out now and can be watched at paintedinstone.com. And he's here today to talk to us about a new screenwriting book that he's found a lot, he's found very helpful. And the book is by Matt Bird, and it is called Secrets of Story. So John, can you tell us a little bit about Secrets of Story and what you really found beneficial here or why you recommend this book? Sure, Mitch. I I was looking to see when it was published, and I, I think it's fairly new. It's published in 2016, actually, right. but um, I just discovered it. It's a fantastic book on writing in general and on screenwriting. It is probably the, the most in-depth book on screenwriting I've ever read, and I've been teaching you know, screenwriting for 15 years, yeah. I've been making film for 20 years, and this is the most insightful and dense uh book i've ever read on on screenwriting and i know that's a huge statement but i know I, I mean that <laughs> is that's a high <laughs> praise what uh, what makes it so in depth or in terms of what what does uh the writer really go in on or focus on what's really nice about it is it's very comprehensive and, and he he focuses on several different aspects of screenwriting dialogue scene character tone and devotes an entire chapter to each of these things. And in each chapter goes through with a, a, a checklist of things that you should do in each of these various aspects of the screenplay. Great. And it's very meticulous. He has some great examples of films. He doesn't just talk about films or stories that worked. He'll talk about, he has the, the ones that don't. to talk about the ones <laughs> that don't, even really popular ones, ones that, that kind mm -hmm. of you know, could have been better. If sure. they had been a little bit more uh, focused on structure and a non-development character. That's very whole. interesting. Okay, very cool. So um, I guess one thing, because we talked about this last time, but what kind of level would you recommend in terms of, would you recommend this for beginning screenwriters, kind of someone who's been writing for a little while or someone who's sold or they've got, you know, <laughs> years of experience screenwriting? Great question. I love that question because I think it, it's a deep dive for somebody who hasn't written before. Sure. But I, if I could prescribe it I, to anyone, I would say pick up this book after you're done with your first draft of your full length screenplay. When you're okay. done with those 110 pages or hopefully <laughs> not 120, <laughs> yeah. get this book, read it, and then go back to your draft. Um, okay, great. This, this guy, Matt Bird, is a uh, he's a thug, right? I mean, he is merciless. He is okay. very, very strict in terms of rewriting and being holding yourself to a very high standard. Sure, and taking well, that's good. Yeah, very, very seriously. And um, it could be it could be discouraging to some people who are just getting started. But gotcha. Um, but he he ain't wrong, right? <laughs> I mean, right. Well, that's good, go, yeah. he's right. It's it's um, we we do need to be tougher on our own manuscripts, and sure. uh, it's not just about the nice thing about it is he gives you some good information and some good ammunition with which to attack your your draft. He okay. doesn't just say, you know, leave you alone, leave you alone, right. and say be a better writer. I mean, he actually sure. walks you through the steps that can help make you better, and. Wow. Um, so I would say it's a little bit more of an intermediate book. Sure, um, sure. For intermediate writers. But, um, but I would, uh, for someone like yourself, uh, who's got yeah. some under, I would say get it today. Mitch. So. Okay, well, Deb, yeah, I will check it out. Um, he also, you said, has a podcast that's on just secrets of story. Yeah, he has a podcast. It's he and, and a friend of his, and they really get into the weeds uh, and really go inside baseball, so to speak, sure. on some, some of the concepts in the book. And so right. uh, if you've got the patience for, for really deep digging and, and, sure. and debating elements of story, check it out. Um, cool. But the book itself is, is great. I would, uh, it's really dense. I would yeah. um, suggest that over the podcast. Okay, uh, okay, great. And, but the podcast is for kind of like uh, 
a next step or you know after you've read the book yeah. and done the okay well um do you have some examples or some of your favorite kind of suggestions that he makes and just one or two just in terms of what can someone expect some of the advice is really uh direct and sure and clear and forward and that's what i like about it for example okay. in dialogue hmm. cutting out all answers yes no any answer right. to a question direct answer to a question and you and i've talked about this before yeah. it's just slash it just take out commas right don't have okay. sentences with commas go with sure. short de declarative statements you know i think that's um, very good and yeah, yeah i would agree that's just one example of um cool. uh, he even goes through uh you know shorten uh shorten your scenes way beyond you think they should be shortened so copy your manuscript into a new you know final draft file right save your original and then go through the new file and just hack it to pieces and, and hack, yeah. hack the words and really try to remove things mm -hmm. and make it and then compare the two and see which one you like most yeah and he said most of the time it's the shorter one and yeah. the, re well, the readers <laughs> will like the shorter one better too you know it's sure. easier to read so well, little. that's a really, yeah, no, that's a really cool strategy because I think there is a ton of filler that we as writers don't realize at all. And so when you do go and cut things, you might have things that you really like that you want to put back in. But I think, yeah, something I never really thought about, but you will probably find a lot of, you know, stuff that you can live without, basically. Or, yeah, some of those sentences that just don't, you don't really need. And yeah. uh, that will make the script a lot tighter. Um, I believe that Quentin Tarantino said, if you don't think you can lose your last line or the last kind of bit of your script, you can, or last bit of a scene, I believe. He's like, you can. And uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, so no, that's really interesting. It, and that's just two, two examples of techniques sure. out, of, out of 150, I think. So oh, wow. it's just you chock know. full of great stuff. Yeah. Do you know uh, Matt Bird's his experience, or has he worked as a scriptwriter or as a script uh, consultant? Matt Bird has a fascinating story that he goes into at, in the beginning of the book. Okay, uh, well, you don't have to ruin it here if you. <laughs> I, I won't. But this is a guy who, you know, he went to screen, uh, went to, was trained in screenwriting in Columbia University, one of the most exclusive screenwriting programs sure. in, in the world and had a very interesting experience there. Had a, there was a life-changing event that he went through. Uh, I won't give out too, too, too many spoilers, sure. but then he, then he got kicked around Hollywood at the, at the upper levels. And so he actually knows his way in and out of, uh, of the business from, yeah. from a reader standpoint, from a writer standpoint, from point, and, and, and then from like an executive uh, standpoint. Sure. So he really knows this stuff and has been through the fire and um and is is really a brilliant brilliant writer so well that sounds fascinating yeah, yeah. well cool i, I well, really can't it. wait for you to read it so we can talk about it <laughs> yeah no definitely well i'm gonna order a copy today and that sounds well, really interesting yeah. um and we are not sponsored by nope. Matt Burn, i promise <laughs> i don't know Matt. Um, this is a full recommendation from <laughs> I don't know. Although, Matt if you wanted to sponsor Matt. us, we, we, you know. <laughs> yeah, Matt, I don't know you from the man on the moon, but hey, I'm on Twitter, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, very cool. Well, any last things that uh, you want to say about uh, Secrets and Story? No, just, just uh, dig in, enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. Well, great. Well, you heard it here. Uh, Secrets of Story by Matt Bird. It's available on Amazon and easily findable. Um, this has been John Fitch writer, producer, and you can check out his documentary, Painted in Stone, The Kentucky Mural at paintedinstone.com. That will be linked below. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe Mitch Smith Media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and subscribe to our Patreon account for more exclusive content like this and interviews with entertainment professionals around the world. Thanks so much. Hope to see you soon.